Hey everybody. So I've got here a 655 and a 955. And these are from the newest production run. So these would be, uh, this would be the third batch of production radios. Um, if you notice something about these, they don't have a wire. So there's no wire to cut, uh, neither in the 655 or in the 955. No, no more wire. So the procedure is a little bit different now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it and, uh, and show you how it's done. There is a document with the instructions. Um, so that said, uh, the document tells you to put it on the top and that makes a whole lot of sense because um, if you try to, um, to do it down in that little space down in there, that's just a little bit difficult. You're going to get your soldering iron, you're going to, you know, burn this plug and all that stuff. It's just not worth it. So you turn it over, get a little piece of wire. I would suggest, you know, a piece of solid wire and you get a little piece of it and you, um, you know, you prepare it. I mean, it's going to be a little tiny piece of wire. It's a little difficult to strip the ends off of a little piece of wire and you, you know, strip the ends off of it and you just sort of curl it around as such that you just solder it across the two pads like it shows in the picture. So you've got six pads there. Uh, it will be when the radio is uh, right side up so you're looking at the, um, uh, the bottom side of the board be the right uh, three and it'll be the top and the bottom pins. So it's just a matter of, at this point, just uh, soldering the wire in. So I'm just going to real quick solder that, just make sure these are good and tinned. I'll tin my little wire if I can hold it. It's a little itty bitty thing. So tin that. And uh, I'm just going to hold it with something because it's such a short little piece of wire. And I'm going to tack that little wire across there. I should really do it the other way. So yeah, I turned it around, but it's just so that I can get at it easier. So I'm just going to turn that little thing away there. And we're just going to tack that little piece of wire on there. And then we're going to plug it in. And it's the same for both with the exception of the, uh, of the button sequence. So then we've got some, uh, some things to do here. So we're going to, after you, it says here, after you install the jumper, uh, it will hold the function and color while powering it on. So the function and color are going to be these two, the top and the bottom. I'm going to push those two and power it on. And then I'm going to release them. And you see it says ham mode. And you're going to rotate that to HF mode. And then you're going to turn it off. And then you turn it back on and it should be all good. So if I go to band, I can get to four. So that's the 955. So 955 done. I'll do the 655, same thing with the exception of the buttons you push. So I'm just gonna go ahead and it's the same, the same two. Uh, when the radio is facing you um, with the you know, solder side, the non-component side up, it's going to be those top two or those, the, the right hand side, the top and bottom pin, basically the same place that the wire was in, if you're familiar with it, um, you know, as it shows in the image. So I'm going to make another little piece of wire and, you know, again, stripping this little short piece of wire is a little hard so 
just strip this little wire. Bend it into a little loop. Um, I will just make sure that, that I tin those two pads on the, on the radio there. I'm just going to turn this around just because it's easier. If you're left-handed, it, it's uh, probably fine, but I'm not. Well, I can actually write with both, but... Um, so, solder is in place. My wire in place, and I will plug it in and turn it off. It was on. And for the 655, after you install the jumper, you will hold the function and scan because it's the same bottom button, except on the 655, it says scan. So it's really the same two buttons. Hold those down, turn it on, get the same menu, HF mode. Turn it off, turn it on. It should be able to go to, uh, uh, let's see, we got here. Um, yeah, that's right, it's a 655. So you see, there we go. So we're good. So that's it, that's it. Um, so I'll do a comparison of these, the, um, the different uh, production runs between the, the third one, which is what these are for the 655 and the 955. Um, there isn't anything really different between them. Um, they're basically the same. Might be some subtle differences here and there, but they're essentially the same. Uh, with the exception that the mod is a little bit different on these. So anyway, that's how you do it. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll just sort of hold this up there. So maybe you can read it. Yeah, it should be fine. So there you go. So um, I guess, uh, you know, um, happy, uh, happy radioing and all that wonderful stuff. Cheers, guys.